Howdy, howdy, folks. How we doing? Travis Shallow here. Um, coming at you. Big thanks to Performer Magazine and Elixir Strings for reaching out. Uh, I want to show you how to play a song today. Uh, with, with the most recent news of, uh, of Matthew Perry passing away, I think uh, I speak for a lot of us. We probably got the Friends TV show back on. And uh, I've got a Breed Love guitar here in Open D. And when that theme song came on, I, uh, I had it on the couch and worked out an open tuning version of the Friends theme song. I wanted to break it down and show you how to play it if you wanted to uh, take a stab at it this way too. So like I said, I'm in open D, D, A, D, F sharp, A, D. And um, I love this tuning. I love writing in this tuning. You can kind of do these chord inversions and kind of get like a, a grand piano-ish type sound. Um, so let me break it down for you. There's basically two parts. There's the intro line that we all know, the intro kind of melody lick that we all know. And then there's um, verse chorus. Short and sweet. So if you if you got, I'm in standard, uh, but an open D. And uh, so let's kick it off. So I'm gonna start on the uh, the 13th fret. I'm on the G string here, I'm on the third string here. And uh, I like to do this little droney top, top D. Actually gives it in the open tuning this kind of Indian flair, but it, I think it's cool. So intro part first. Just one string, just doing the melody line on, on the third string, and um, does it twice, pretty straightforward. Then it goes to the verse. So I do this, uh, I do this chordal thing here, but this is really just I'm um, hitting octaves. So I've got the fifth string on the fifth fret third string, third fret, but it's still just tuning. It's just a little bit a different voicing of it because it sets me up for the next chord, which uh, which is, a, I'm in the key of D, so this is open D, so I'd be going to the C for the next chord, so. No one told you life was gonna be this way. So this is, um, this is like a, an F chord in, in standard tuning, but just raised up every finger one string. That's your C chord and open D. So, so no one told you life was gonna be this way. Back to D. I'm so joking, you're broke, and your love life's the way. It's an F sharp minor. So I'm up here at the seventh fret, top string, muted the fifth string, and then seventh fret on your D and G string as well kind of my version of F sharp minor. It's kind of like a suspended thing. I like the way it sounds. And then back to the C, which is your kind of F shape down here. It's like you're always stuck in second gear. So it's a little walk down. Um, little F, walk down. Walk down on your A string. Back to your one, or your D chord. And it does that again. It hasn't been your day a week. All right, new chord. This is your G, so it's uh, still your your uh, top E string, which is two to D, and then uh, and your third string as well. That's your G. Then slide up two frets to your A, and then we're on to chorus. Pretty straightforward. It's cool. I like the way it sounds in the open tuning. Let me know if you dig it this way too. And. Uh, and then the chorus is your one chord, your open D, to your G, to your A, three times in a row. I'll be there for you when the rain starts to Last time it goes back to the C chord, which is that F shape down here. Cause you're there for me to walk down. Just one open D, we can church it up and finish with 12th fret harmonics. It's a nice little sparkle there at the end. So um, 
I'm gonna play it straight through and then uh, and break out your guitar, tune it down to open D, D A D, F sharp, A D, and uh, try to. It's cool to try to transpose songs that, that oh, I do this songs that I hear uh, theme song, whatever. If I'm watching TV, if I got a, a a favorite song of mine, I try to transpose it into open tuning. It opens up a whole new world. So I'm gonna throw a little reverb on this. Yeah, church it up. Here we go. Thank you all for listening. Pick up those guitars, check it out, play around with it. That's just my version of doing it. There's so many different fingerings for these open chords. Um, they all sound cool. They're all they're all kind of different, and it opens up this whole new way of chord inversions and voicings, and makes it uh, makes it a little bit more interesting than just your standard tuning. Um, so check it out. Big thanks to Performer Magazine and Elixir Strings. Have a good one, folks. See you down the line.